And now to Nottingham's unofficial rubbish tip. It's actually a small farm just outside the city and a quirk of nature means that the River Trent deposits its often unsavoury contents right there. As Brady Harron discovered, it's bad news for animals, nature lovers and especially the man who has to clean it all up. A small gust of wind is probably all it'll take to blow this trash into the Trent but it won't end up washing out to sea. We're at a place called Stoke Ferry Lane, near Shelford, which is opposite the uh, ferry boat pub at Stoke Bardolph. And it's here that the rubbish ends up. You've got builder's materials, uh, that's old piping that uh, somebody's thrown in the river, drink cans, and if you look, Oh, here's one. There you have a can that's been used by a boater, where the boater has uh, relieved himself into the can rather than uh, pay to have his uh, boat emptied. But that's not the worst of it. Oh, here we are. This is it. Look, coming up with the rubbish, you've a job to spot. Now that one's safe because it's got the cap on. David's finding up to 70 syringes a month. All this rubbish is posing a risk to the sheep. Previous years we've had uh, two die uh, through ingesting plastic and uh, there was about five were injured by putting the feet into various things. And worst of all, the Environment Agency and local councils say it's David's job to clean it all up. They say it's not their rubbish. It's just tough. We just wish we could reverse the flow of the tide and send it back. It'd be very nice. And let the uh, city fathers deal with it.